Hi, in this video I'm going to show you the partial quotients method of division using base 10 blocks. Let's go ahead and take a look at the problem 516 divided by 4. The first thing we want to do is use our virtual manipulatives. So let's go ahead and make the number 516. You're going to notice that when I write this, I'm going to write it a little bit differently than you're used to seeing. So I'm going to take the dividend and put it inside of what looks like a giant number 7 and then put my divisor on the outside. Now I want to start looking at my base 10 blocks and look at the fact that I have 5 flats or 5 hundreds. I want to see, can I put these into 4 groups? So I'm going to go ahead and put one flat in each of my, if I want to think of them as like piles, right? Because I'm trying to see if I divide these 516 blocks into four groups, how many of them are in each group? Okay, so I know that I can pull out 400 for sure. In my work here, I'm going to go ahead and put 400 here, and I know that I'm taking out four groups of 100, and then I'm going to see what I have left, and I know I have 116 still left. Next, I can choose to do this a couple of different ways. Um, I know that I can split this flat up into fourths or break it into four pieces. I know that I can also take this 16 and break that into four. So I'm going to go ahead and do the 16 first. I know that I can break this into four groups of four, which will give me 16. So I'm going to go ahead and distribute those now. And then I record it here underneath my 116. I've got my four groups of four. And again, I subtract and I get 100. So I can first take this 100 and separate it into rods, right? And I know that I can give two rods to each person, but then I still have two rods left over that I need to break into ones. So I can go ahead and do that. And then I can see that each person is going to get five ones as well. So two rods and five ones is 25. Again, I can record this as four groups of 25, which is 100. Now you can see that I have no blocks left. In order to get my answer, um, when I'm looking at my piles, I can simply count them and realize that I have 129 in each pile. Or if I look at my work here, I'm simply looking at this column right here. Again, this was telling me that there were four groups of that. So um, I really care about what was in each group when I put them in the piles. So I have 100 plus 4 plus 25, which gives me 129. So I know that 516 divided by 4, there would be 129 blocks in each pile. I hope that gives you a better way of how to show partial quotients with base 10 blocks. 